will get to this video clip series, My Journey to God in a Very Circularized World. We began in the last uh, video uh, clip, the third meditation of Don't Set the Gobi 2003. And the title of the, this meditation is uh, The Rosary, the Prayer of the Little Ones for the Victory. And so we continue here. We got up to the point of, of uh, in, in, in this, the second part of the meditation was two victories with the voice. We just got done reading the last video clip, the, the one at Jericho. And now we read the one of, uh, uh, in the book of Judges. Now I'll read, now I'll read this, this verse, this uh, few verses from the book of Judges. Then Je Jerobal, that is Jedion, and all the people who were with him ro rose early and encamped beside the spring of Herod, and the camp of Midian was north of them by the hill of Moreb in the valley. The Lord said to Gideon, The people with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hand, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, My own hand has delivered me. Now therefore proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whoever is fearful and trembling, let him return home. And Gideon tested them. 22,000 returned. Judges uh, chapter 7. In the movement, in recent years, those who have been afraid withdrew. Afraid because they found it difficult. Afraid because they heard criticism, fear, because they meet with indifference or misunderstanding on the part of some bishops. Afraid because they were criticized by some theologian. Fear for many other reasons. Many have turned back. But it is a plan of Our Lady to have let them go back. Here it must be clear that the victory is hers alone, not even us as a movement, <clears throat> although called to be part of her cohort. We have to be honored in some way for the victory. The victory is hers alone, and she wants to show that in it is hers. 22,000 turned back in the book of Gideon. It could be even 40,000 in the movement. It is not important. It is not important. Ten thousand remained. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people are still too many. Ten thousand are too many. They would say that, that it is them that is not God who saved Israel. Then he put them to the test. Take them down to the water and I, and I will test them for you there. Everyone that laps the water with his tongue as a dog laps, you shall set, set by himself. Likewise, everyone that kneels down to drink, and the number of those that lapped put their hands to their mouths, was three hundred men. But all the rest of the people knelt down to drink water. And the Lord said to Gideon, with the 300 men that lapped, I will deliver you. And then uh, Gobi continues, Do you know how the victory took place? Gideon divided the 300 men into three groups of a hundred. He gave to all of them trumpets, carafs, uh, uh, and sticks. At my order, you will beat with the sticks and the pitchers and you and I will begin to scream, yell, scream. They did as they were told. The frightened Midianites left. They turned against each other, and they killed one another. And, and the 300 won without any weapons, without fighting. The Midianites were filled with fear of their voice. Now we come to the third point of uh, the meditation of Don Santo Gobi which is the victory with the voice of infants. Look at how these episodes from the Old Testament clearly illuminate what Our Lady is doing, in doing now. The Gospel says, I thank thee, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, 
that thou hast hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to babes. And in the psalm, by the mouth of babes and infants, thou hast founded a bulwark because of thy foes to steal the enemy and the avenger. Once in a meditation, I said that Our Lady puts us through the test, like Gideon, not the test of water, but the test of milk. Those children who want to take the baby's bottle and drink the milk alone, Our Lady says, go to the side. They are already, they are already a bit too big. They have grown a bit too much. Those who take the mil milk from my bosom, these I kept, because they have that smallness that appeals to my heart and with which I will be able to act. Then we begin to think, how are infants able to speak? They do not know how to speak, but she says, with the voice of infants, what is their voice? It is a voice of crying that expresses the mothers know how to understand the need for food or the need for sleep. When children are infants, they express themselves in this way. Their voice is the one that asks for food or for sleep. With the voice of children and infants, this means with a voice of people who cannot speak, that basically know only how to cry, invoking God, their, their, their dad, and invoking their mom the mom. And the mom is waiting just for this cry, crying voice that is of invocation and of supplication to the Heavenly Father and to her. She waits only for this voice in order to begin implementing her victory. Do you, under do you understand? We must be small in this way because this, our invocation to the Father and to the Mother, is a voice that is deposited in them and then it makes ours their own prayer. That's why the blue book is written when when I to hear them when I hear them cry like little children I will intervene in an amazing terrible way. That was in the message of February 23rd 74. It is the crying and the invocation of these children who do not know how to speak but who place their voice in that of Jesus and that of the Mother. This is why Our Lady invites us to pray with her, to, together with her, and the prayer done with her is the Holy Rosary. It is a prayer that you do with me. I pray with you. I join in your prayer. It is a prayer done together in which the voice of the children is united with the Mother's voice. And it is this Power, it is this power of the maternal voice of Mary united with that of her children that obtains the victory. So powerful to win and crush the power of the giants, which today have become really strong, especially the ones inserted in the, di in the diabolical but very strong ranks, which is the Freemasonry. Now we come to the fourth point of the med meditation the victorious weapon of the rosary. Now, now you understand why, seeing that we are entering into the heart of the trial, with so many signs our Lord helps us to understand. At the beginning of a millennium in which explodes in many parts of the world terrorism, which leads to new bloody situations and violence, in which the difficulties which the world horizon presents leads us to think that there is no intervention from on high, we will not be able to change what awaits us and to hope for a brighter future. In the days when the same Christianity threatens to succumb, the Pope establishes a year of the Rosary and invites the whole church to pray with Mary so that we can be freed from the terrible dangers that loom over us in these times. Gather the and then Our Lady, he quotes a message from Our Lady. He says, Our Lady says, Gather the religious and the faithful around you in cenacles of unceasing and fervent prayer offered with me. At this time, above all, I am asking you to pray with fervor and joy by means of the Holy Rosary. 
It is the weapon which is to be used by you today in fighting and winning this bloody battle. That was the message of May 1st, 1983. May God bless you and Mary guide you.